Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's tragedy. Right, today is a big day. I'm going to be plastering the wall in the second bedroom upstairs in the coach house. And we have decided to go a bit radical and go blue on this one. And I did some tests with my pigment last night, but sadly they didn't dry in time for the morning. So concentration wise, I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna do. But with Mark this morning, we agreed that um, any of these three colors would be nice. So. Really, I just have to avoid it being as dark as that. Um, and yeah, we're gonna crack on. The big problem we've got today is that Mark has broken a rib and so he can't help. But luckily, um, I've got my friend Stefan here to help me and he is going to be um, mixing and passing me the stuff because this one's gonna be a very high one uh, because there's no wooden beam across it. And hopefully that means that we can just do the whole thing in one day. So Stefan, which colour do you like best for the wall? Well, I think for this wall, with this room, not too dark for sure. Yeah. For me, I like this yeah. one. But it, when it dries, yeah, it's, it's a bit lighter, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, maybe all I have to go on is the photos I took of them last night because it's impossible to scale up the quantities from when you do a small test. So I'll look at my pictures from last night and we'll maybe try to do something in between. Between, yeah. Now the big thing... Yeah, good idea. This will be too clear. Yeah, I and think so, yeah. And this is darker. Yeah. Between it would be a good idea, I think. Yeah. The difficulty we've got, and you're going to be chief mixer today, you can see here yes. that the pigment hasn't fully mixed in. Yeah. So we're going to have to mix it for, I think, a lot longer than I normally would. Mm -hmm. This is a lime plaster with some resin in it and we're using it like a skim, I think is what we say in English, where you put a top coat of plaster on. Um, this means that because it's got a glue in it, we mm -hmm. don't need to wet the wall in advance. Okay. <laughs> I measure this using the dry in here mm -hmm. and the water with that and the pigment with this. Yeah. Tell us about yourself, Stefan. Oh, <laughs> I live uh, closer to the center of Saint Felicien. How did you meet Mark and Amy? Uh, it's been a few years ago. We met because I was working around and I met Mark and uh, we match each other. He's a very, very nice guy and he presented me to his family and we become friends. And uh, now it, I help for work and it's great. That's what I wanted. I'm happy. <laughs> cool. Yes. And are you happy Stefan's here to help you? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I've taken the lid off one of the pigments. This <laughs> is like every breathing behind me like a Dalek. <laughs> <laughs> In the top here are lots of little balls. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not pow complete powder. And that's why we're getting, mm -hmm. when you mush it up with your fingers, it's all right. But that's why we're getting um, streaks. Um, I'm going to get the drill ready. Right, you put three, three buckets of that in there, yes please. Yeah. Sorry for the smoke. <laughs> it does look like it's smoking, doesn't it? Yeah, very really soft, really powder. Okay. Yeah. 
to it's very blue isn't it if we try that first right let's try with a tiny bit of that yeah that's enough yeah thanks the best solution to the clumping problem would have been a fine mesh sieve, but I didn't have one and it takes a full day to go to the DIY store and back. And since I had Stefan there ready to work with me, I just needed to get on with it. Once we've worked out our concentrations, we'll put this in before we put the water. So we'll mix the whole lot first. Okay. in in the end um, which is a good balance because if we put too much in we might run out of pigment uh, <laughs> I bought four pots and I just can't do the maths for that um, but I think it looks good we all decided that any of the three shades we did would be nice in the end so it's just a matter of taste so whichever one we pick we just need to be consistent um, and the other comment I have is that blue is a pretty pervasive colour and I think I'm going to be blue from head to foot by the end of the day. The big problem I have is that I'm terrified of heights and this is quite high for me. because I've got this um, bar here, so it feels like I'm really secure. Uh-huh, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I have a new tool that my brother-in-law told me is much better than the small ones. But apparently it's really, really tough on your arms. <laughs> I feel like I need to put it on the wall with this one and smooth it with the other one. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Oh, that's another, who cleaned this? I need to get new help. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. oh. Amy! Oh, it fell off my board. Amy! Oh, no. um, well, we've discovered that my new tools make this a huge amount easier than the previous ones. Uh, so we're going nice and fast. And um, so we've actually had to get a two bucket system in. We've also found the microphones so it won't sound all echoey and horrible. I'm finding the top little bit a tiny bit tricky because uh, this is a very big tool uh, and I don't want to get it on the ceiling. More, oh, it's just my arms aching really to hold it still and do it carefully. I'm very happy with it though. I'm kind of terrified of French DIY stores because they're enormous and there's lots of things I don't know the name of in any language that I need or don't need or I tend to get lost in them. So I've discovered this incredible shop called Tool Station and I go in and all you do is you stand and talk to the man and say what you'd like from the catalogue and he goes off and gets it and gives you some advice and chats with you about what you might need. And it's amazing, it takes me half the time and I actually get what I need at the end of it. And uh, they're not sponsoring this or anyway, or anything. But there's a really lovely young man who works at one I go to and he sees me struggling with the catalogue now and he just says, do you want to bring it over here and we'll talk about what you need. And uh, as a result, I now have the proper tools for the job. 
So thank you, young man whose name I don't know. I think I've finally developed my technique for the ceilings, which involves the smaller square trowel and a, uh, a bit of squidging as I get close to it. Um, it means the top bit has kind of dr been drying as I've been going over it, so I'm gonna, I might have to do another layer on that. Uh, but while Margot and Stefan were chit-chatting about how to pronounce crepe, crepe, <laughs> Uh, pan au chocolat, croissant. I have been making great progress. Honestly, you wouldn't believe what, what is talked about here behind the scenes. From here looks good. Yeah, I haven't finished smoothing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to get it up to the edges at the moment. Yeah. It's all right, I'll come down this very elegantly. You don't have the right proper shoes either. Well, no, I put them on because I don't want them to get paint on a them. Bit lower, oh my gosh! A bit lower. Okay, <laughs> you are. Thank you. Right. Pepper! <laughs> Dogs and plaster don't mix. Maman, elle travaille bien, hein? c'est joli. Alors ça paraît foncé là, mais en séchant, ça va devenir beaucoup plus clair en fait. That's very blue. Very oh, blue. Danny? <laughs> Why are you taking my coffee, Mommy? Clément's been doing pastoring at school. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh no, no, no. no. Oh. The blue boy. Um, we have a slight problem. There was a lot of kind of things going on at the same time with the battery of the um, uh, mixer going and Mark couldn't find the charger and all sorts of things. And um, it looks like the batch that Stefan mixed up before didn't have the right amount of pigment in it um, or had too much or something else. Anyway, I just started putting it on the wall and it's a different color. And the problem is, if it's a mistake, you then don't know what the mistake was you made because you didn't do it deliberately. So um, we're going to work gradually to incorporate more in until it looks right by eye, and that's all we can do. Um, it's just a pity because the first, the second batch we did was absolutely identical to the first, but yeah, this is where I just put it on. Um, the other area of concern for me, as always, is like in the other room, the joins of the plasterboard where there's been plaster tape and paint over are drying at a different rate but over the weeks and months in the other room those have almost disappeared so my hope is it just takes a lot longer but it will disappear all right yeah looks all right <sighs> yeah Good. so i put on a little bit as a tester and it looks absolutely right. So it must have just been yeah. in your mind you were doing the uh, yeah, same yes. amount as in the first bucket rather than the second bucket. That's me, yeah. That's what I've been Yeah, not mine. Yeah, not mine. Well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> no. Even me. <laughs> <laughs> the trick now is trying to blend the new lots of paint in with the, uh, the plaster 
in with the bits I've already done because I have to move around the wall and obviously bits of it dry. But I'm trying to use that to my advantage because I think it gives me a natural way of adding some texture in because then when I go over the bits that have partially dried, I get more natural kind of bumps underneath it, which will give me a, an, an uneven edge without a rough edge. Can I have another one, please? Paper, do you reckon out. I've done? Well, that much. <laughs> How much is that as a sort of, is it half? Yeah. More? Oh, I think more. Yeah? Yeah. I think a little bit more. Well, yeah. Well, let's say half. Let's say three bits. <laughs> <laughs> You're so encouraging. Oh, no. What? I left my tea on the beam <laughs> over there. I was stood up drinking it all I the will, time. I, and now I think I... I can catch it, don't worry. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's tragedy. Oh, Aye. No. Thank you. <laughs> Pepper. Out. Pepper, you don't want blue paws. <laughs> Um, so we're having ongoing issues with colour. The last lot turned out too light again. Um, even though we're definitely sure 12 scoops went in. And what we're wondering is if maybe last time we overcompensated and put more in because we didn't know how many were in. So it's just a, we're balancing back from an issue. But the problem is the first bits we did are already drying, so they already look lighter, and it's just quite difficult to know, firstly, how light it's going to dry overall, and how much difference it's going to make if we're just a little bit out with the, with the colour. Um, it's a bit worrying when you go through a lot of this effort to do it, a lot of expense and a lot of effort to know that it might all be rubbish, because <laughs> I thought I was doing quite a good job of it. Um, but this big sweep I just did with the new batch just looks like a big white streak on it to me from here. So we're trying to put a bit more in. Gonna look in the corner. No. Nobody's no. gonna look in. You're not to look in the corner ever. Nobody. Look in the corner. No. <laughs> Don't look in the corner. Spike.
about uh, seven hours of straight plastering and a few hours of prep and clean down, but Stefan and I have finally finished. I say finally finished, I still have to come back in here probably very late tonight to brush this entire wall with my rubber gloves to give the finish that I like. Um, but the, the heavy bit is done and it was heavy. My arms are aching, um, but I'm really pleased. Um, Margot's gone off for the weekend, so Stefan's filming me. Otherwise I'd be saying thank you so much, Stefan, because I couldn't have done it without you. Um, well, I am saying that, he's just behind the camera, you can't see him. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's a bit scarily dark blue. Um, but based on what the samples did, I think, uh, I think it will dry nicely. My darling! Hi! Can't see what we've done, baby! Come on, Popsy! Oh, darling, oh beautiful girl. Nice. Ah, I tell you, chapeau. Have you been wearing your hat? Have you? Well done. Thank you. And you see, the first bit to dry over there is looking quite, yeah. quite light already. So what's going on, you see, for the panels? 